functionally unfunctional. It would just be there. It would just be there to exist. I feel like that would just something that would just exist. You know, it would just be an existing thing. Oh, it's going to blow my mind. Hold on. Holy shit. What are you talking about? Let's reread this. What if the next real fake door is a real fake door <clears throat> with a real door on it? You open it, but it's another door. That's real fake. It's functionally unfunctional. So it's like you put a door on a wall. Probably one of one of our customers installed this and was like a, you know, an engineer and was like, oh, I got an idea. Crazy, like mind fuck idea. And uh, like what you're talking about is kind of what. Yeah, that's awesome. You like open up a real door on the real fake door. And inside is an unfunctional, well, it's a functional, unfunctional, real fake door. There's so many real fakes and fake reels and real doors. This is fucking, you're hurting my head. It sounds like something we can go with. We can turn that into a product, right? It's like doors for people who've watched Interstellar. You know, it's just, or Inception. Incept the doors. The real fake Incept doors. It's cool. It's new. I mean, didn't everybody think that butterfly doors on a Lamborghini were unfunctional until like people were buying them? Of course, but now they're like a huge thing. These fucking huge, they sell themselves. I mean, you'll be immediately smarter too when you buy this door. You know, like it just, it adds like 27 points to IQ immediately. Per door too, you could become fucking mega mind if you, I don't know, say bought 15 of those doors at $259.99 a pop. I don't know, it's a good fucking deal. Oh shit, do you want a door? So you have a real fake door, but you have a door frame that has twice the depth. So you can mount another set of hinges for the real door in front of the real fake door. Yeah, it's kind of, it's it, it's kind of like, uh, you, you've heard, you've obviously heard of like double pane, single pane, triple pane window. I feel like these are triple pane doors. You know, the the triple pane, we call them the Inceptor doors, but it's like a patent that our local inventor, real fake door inventor, Broken, came up with. Inceptor door, it's just a triple pane door. It's like a door sandwich, but it blows your mind. You know, at the same time, take my word on it. Like, I feel like a genius because I own like seven of them. It's true. That would be kind of funny, though. That'd be dope. <laughs> Always have been founded by Chad. That's true. Has to. Has to go to Chad. I mean, it's only fair to go back and watch the first one, Concept Artist. Um, I think that's why we really use Chad. He had a really good mind about it. Like, yo, Coheed with music. He was literally the Coheed, of Ca Coheed and Cambria of door um, ingenuity. It goes, without be it goes without saying. Like, there's no real fake doors without Chad. Without Chad, there would be no real fake doors. You get what I'm talking about. I, I, sometimes I forget what I'm saying because I'm just too smart with all these doors around me. He really was. I mean, you're right. It was sad to see him go, though, wasn't it? It was sad. Like, he spent a good 22 years of development before we really brought his, his concept to life. 22 years, and it was worth it. I mean, he's living somewhere like, what, Peru? Right now, living off the laurels of his work because of his patent. I mean, we, 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 we help create them, we manufacture them, but without his patent, we couldn't do it. And Chad's living in Peru somewhere with like 15 dogs and some iguanas eating papayas off of a cool, real fake door table. That guy's got the life. I'll tell you what, got the life. <laughs> I mean, if you play your cards right, broken. That's a baby girl. That's a baby girl. She is a baby and she is a girl, but she's six, so she is older than a girl, but she's still my baby girl. Damn, she's older than me. <laughs> Damn, you're ugly. You know, Broken, maybe you wouldn't be so cold. You owned a genuine, real fake door. The real fake door. Yeah, but you know, it, it does help with insulation. Not insulation, don't hear me wrong. I know I got some kind of accent, all right, but just know that genuine, real, fake doors can help with insulation in your house, especially when it's cold. They come built in with their own heater per door. Like they are the perfect 
thing for the winter months, especially if you live in the Midwest. We even we we like to what we call our op line. You know, when you were going in the grocery store and you like walk past someone like, oh, sorry. These are the op doors, right? They help heat you, but they don't want to feel like they're in the way. So they're they're slender and they're they're not wide, they're thin. So they're slender, you know, like little slender, and they're thin. So you can like walk in, like you go through the side. It's you know how you mean like if you walk through a regular door, you just like open it right you just walk right in that's a regular door these are the op doors so you open it and you're like oh and you have to squeeze through but they come built in with the heater they're perfect for insulation thin material very efficient heater is perfect too it saves you like a shit ton of money on central heating you put five of those bad boys in boom hundred dollars every month gone off your freaking electricity bill these are the way of the future okay op doors real fake genuine op does it help with instigation? I think they're like a plus three in instigation and in investigation too. Think about it. Each one comes with a specially formulated patent pending peephole that can look through the other side. <gasps> it's in it's in production right now. You know, it's in the works. It's in the works, but uh, it's made of some really good glass. Really, really good glass. It's the kind that like old school pirates used to have like really crystal glass you know it always had a crack but that crack always had like a point like a point you'd be like oh that's the middle that kind of glass extra tempered hand blown you know you get the rod and you're blowing some stuff you know blowing some glass right just stuff there blowing some glass and uh, that's what you get you just put a little right into it and then boop you get a lens right does it up integration though? Or do I need to get a real door for that? No, no, it doesn't. Um, it actually comes built in with its own integration systems, right? Like hinges, it comes with those. We integrate, uh, we, we have an attachment for a fake real door handle to install into the real fake door slot. We, we, uh, we have a company that does 3, 3D printing. So it doesn't feel like you're 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 really taken away from the real fake door feel. You don't feel bad for doing it. Yeah, so we got handle slots, right? So there's a little switch, right? Right next to uh right next to the top lock. So picture a door, right? Where's where's the camera? Where, obviously, I know where the camera's at. Duh. So you got the handle right here. Picture the handle being this part right here. Here's a top lock. There's a little switch right in the top lock. You can flip it over and over and it'll give you different little slots. So like if you want one of those handles, it's like a long hand like this. You can install one of those. If you want a nice bulky square one, because maybe you're feeling abstract modern, you want like a real square or maybe, maybe I might know like one or two Minecraft aficionados who would like a square door handle. I don't know. Just saying. Uh, you can have one that you flip the switch and then boom, you have the ability to insert a square handle. Now, it, it there, there's a, a hidden switch that you, you kind of have to be in the know about. But, you know, in in the back, you flip it like a real, real handle. So like it just manifests, but it feels like a real fake handle. It's ingenious. We're still working on the prototype, the one that does it. So just giving you a heads up there. Yeah, there's obviously options with multiple slots. If you want to customize, they're customizable too. I mean, that's what we're all about. We have customizable lines. If you're in the industry of wanting to take something and not recreate the idea, but build on it like you're doing, I don't know, like you get two artists collabing together. You take it's it's so customizable that it's meant for collaborations. You know, it's the collab line, right? It's ingenious, so you can mod out whatever you want. There'll still be a real fake door, but it's your real fake door. It's your look on something that's already been patented and obviously super selling. So you know it's super popular. Now it's just your take and see what you can do on a super modded, super customizable real fake door. How's that sound? I mean, if that's what you want, then go for it. You're gonna have to create it yourself. I'm not going to give you all the blueprints. I'm not going to I'm not going to hold your hand every step of the way. You're going to have to learn yourself. If you want to take that one door with one handle and eventually work your way up to an octo handle or octo door with a bunch of handles. Sounds like octo dad. You can have an octo dad inspired handle door. Go for it. The world's your oyster. I mean, we even had like, if you were a what do you call it? A budding doorsmith, right? 
Um, we even have special discounts at the warehouses. Just this is between you and I. Special discounts at the warehouses. If you wanted to get some like more premier wood, the fact that you're in, you know, in the know, we could knock off a cool 27% from the price. So it's basically if you wanted to, I don't know, throw the door that you customized um, a new look towards somebody and gain maybe a profit, we look the other way. You're you're in the know, right? So just come down to the warehouse. We can we can cut you a deal. I'm an archaeologist. I dig up the past. I'm on the search for a civilization. It's it's one only have been heard about in about a handful of manuscripts and scrolls. We don't know the name of the the civilization yet because we we haven't found it. We heard of it. We heard of it. But there's some there's some really cool goings ons down there. Like some really cool goings on. Uh, we heard that they're like the uh, the first civilization to uh, create the doorknob, and uh, they were they were the first to perfect the hinge. So we 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 wanted to see what they because because it like what, what we heard what we heard so things that we found in the mid so there's like words that were said to us adjectives. Anyway, story goes is. Uh, we heard some people talking about it and we got kind of interested about wow a lost civilization that was fucking way ahead of its time 3500 years ago and they happen to be experts in the art of entryways and false entryways right and their the, the biggest claim to fame what really got them on the map was uh the turnable doorknob because uh, back then you used to have to press the door. You know, there was no doorknob, there was no privacy, but this whole new thing. Um, and now we want to go down there and actually get this technology for ourselves. I mean, think about it. If we get 3,500 year old technology and mix it with our stock, with our merchandise, shit. I mean, it would be actual antique, but like futuristic antique. It would be chic, antique, futuristic. It'd be a mystique about it too. They'd be like, "How'd you do it? How'd you even figure out about it? It was a myth. There was there's only like three stories ever. How'd you find out about it? Intuition. I mean, when you're around doors all your life, you just know where a door is gonna be. And I, there was like this one time where I sat down on a rock. It was outside, as like 25 miles outside of my house, and I sat down on a rock. And uh, this, like, I just had this weird vibration come to me through uh, through the earth, right? But it was coming from like almost true north, right? It was it was true north, and when I looked up true north, it was having me head towards like the the badlands of Canada, and uh, that's where like, I just had like this feeling. We had to go to the badlands of Canada. We have to go there now. I got like a group of 17 people uh, from from the uh, from the incorporation from RFD Incorporation out of the uh, 45 total workers and they were like the the 17 most fit men women dogs children who you name it 17 very fit individuals and we went out there and we were just excavating trying to find this technology and wouldn't you have it we found it boys muscular mutt is on the case see i'm glad we went I'm glad we went the muscular mud route. He was a good, he was a good find. He was a really good find. Like, I didn't think he was gonna be on the market so easily for us to just pick up like that. But, you know, for him to actually want to work with us, that was, that was just a blessing in disguise, really. <clears throat> like, the dude knows his way around woodworking and he's also just like, jacked. Like, have you seen, have you seen the fucking like, haunches on that motherfucker i bet he'd kick a barn door down he could probably kick a real fake door down that dude's so strong he could, he could kick our like metal uh, metallic series he could kick dents in the metallic series with real fake doors don't fuck with him like muscular mud there was a time where i thought he wasn't really gonna work out because he had an attitude problem just find out that he just was stricken with a hefty case of rich resting bitch face it was bad it was bad but we learned to accept it because you know not all not all faces really like, should not be perceived as what they look like, right? Muscular Mud just had a resting bitch face, but he was also a basset hound, so he looked like he was frowning constantly, you know? It's all the time. I don't even know what I just picked up. You know, it, you know, uh, Mike, uh, Mike, Broken Mike, uh, from marketing, you think, like, glass pane 
would be good for real fake doors. I think a whole glass paint good for real fake doors. We need to get our marketing team on that. I mean, even add the cracks in it, give you like multiple visuals, give you like that old school aesthetic, like post apocalyptic kind of stuff. We need to get on that. All right, uh, jot that down in the uh, business journal. We, we need uh, we need new ideas. We don't want to let the uh, the crowds know that we're um, losing ideas. We're not. We're still fresh. We're still hip. We're still with it. Hello. Uh, you know, you have to understand, a robot, is we're both business people. You're, bus you're a floating business matron. I'm a businesswoman. We can come to a deal, right? Come on. I'll throw in some like grade A premium bismuth hinges, and I'll f I'll throw in some galvanized titanium uh titanium nails and door handles okay so what do you say i'm sorry but i simply cannot okay i might have to sweeten the deal i'm sorry here hey before. hey stop talking real quick the real fake doors are on sale right now what are you doing go over to the fucking merch store buy a real fake door you whore oh my god i'm about to go into debt how many doors i've bought can you stop trying to pressure me into real fake doors i already have 35 uh from my first order on the way oh shit i already have like 17 from another order so that makes that makes 52 i mean how many more do you think i need i've already spent like seventy two thousand dollars on real fake doors seventy two thousand dollars in the past three months on real fake what more do you want what more do you want i i've 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 donated a left testicle, donated a kidney. I paid for all of it. I've been given semen samples, not the greatest. A lot of outdated magazines. I've been doing plasma, seventy-two thousand died. What more do you want from me? I didn't get to even pay my. I mean, with seventy-two thousand dollars spent on real fake toys, you would think I would get some sort of like premium membership, but no. Like, well, I found out that it was $73,000 and I know it was $1,000 short. I had to get that in three months, but two days from now, if I don't get it, I don't get the premium membership and I got to start over. I have a third mortgage? I, I don't, don't know what to do. What? Hey, hey, stop talking real quick. The real fake doors are on sale right now. What are you doing? Go over to the fucking merch store. Buy a real fake door, you whore. I was very scared of being shot at. Sorry. Um, I actually stopped talking. Um, but I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, I wanted to bring up a sale. There is none. Buy our doors. We, we can't afford one. We're all, we're all broke. We need to buy. We actually are selling them all at 200% uh, original price. Um, cause fuck you, we need money, and we're about to go out of business, so please buy our doors. <laughs> cause fuck you. <laughs> we sell our doors at 200% markup because fuck you. But also our loyal our loyalty members get 100% markup, which means regular value, so you're welcome. We have to liquidate all doors. There's no sale, we're just increasing the price, but you have to buy them, and if you don't, we'll put warrants out for you, and you'll be arrested on site if you don't buy at least three doors in the next three to five business months. We will haunt you. Like, you are not a pog daddy right now. You're so cringe. I've analyzed those locked doors. It seems like... <laughs> doors? I'm kidding. It seems like we need some sort of keys to open them. No way. Hey, hey, stop talking real quick. The real fake doors are on sale right now. What are you doing? Go over to the fucking merch store. Buy a real fake door, you whore. What if I just don't wanna right now? Okay, you've been pestering and pestering me. Two times a day, every day for the past 17 and a half years, and I'm getting really fucking tired of it. I already bought five 15 years ago, seven 12 years ago. I mean, Stan, he went out and bought 25 because you told me to refer a friend and you would shut the fuck up 12, uh, 11 years ago, sorry, and you still haven't. Are you trying to siphon money out of me, out of my fucking asshole? What am I? I'm not, I'm not fucking Benjamin making money button out of here. I don't fucking poop money trees, you piece of shit. Like, how dare you? You trying to siphon? I already have too much lumber. At you. Look at my backyard, okay? My backyard is a fucking graveyard for the real fake doors. Stop it. Doors with glass. That's right, though. But, like, sometimes... Sometimes, like, what, what is actually a door? A door can just be. 
therefore it is anything's a door it the world's your oyster honestly like when you when you think about it anything could be a door like you know that kitchen you have no that's just a door with appliances it's a real fake door with appliances it's not a kitchen you just you arbitrarily you arbitrarily called it a kitchen everything was real fake doors with insert here you know it wasn't it wasn't kitchen with real fake doors it never was it never you were living in the matrix okay you were living in a different reality that you just can't comprehend i'm sorry that i have to break it to you i'm sorry but real fake doors it, it that's what it is and you arbitrarily turn it into a kitchen you called it a kitchen not a kitchen with real fake doors it's real fake doors with a kitchen in it okay that's what it is yeah doors with glass i love that doors with glass not glass with doors Doors. I forgot what I was even saying earlier. Something about doors. I don't know. Does mean? Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? That's nothing. Okay, just kidding. Wait, is it nothing? That no, that's nothing. It's a door. It's a it's a door. Yo, door redoored. It's a it's a Christmas movie. You know, it really is. They try to say redoored is not a Christmas movie. Okay. it is it may be action-packed you know santa door may have two loaded lmgs with extendo uh drum mags but it's a christmas movie okay the main protagonist and antagonist are well-seasoned real fake door actors uh they came out of retirement um to do this film they saw the opportunity to really try to harness their inner their inner bruce willis you know they wanted to see if they could really do what he did and i told them they're doors they're not gonna be able to act i don't think they can talk but they didn't listen to me do they listen no so what did we do we got a we got a team together we came together with a budget it got approved weirdly enough it got approved and you know two two skips later a bing boom bop we have door redoored um we made sure this time to use real prop guns okay uh, our buddies down at the real fake gun store decided to um, basically customize some real prop guns this time it's a different it's it was really nice of them and free of cost too free of cost like gosh almighty i was i was floored for them to come over and do door redoored and give us some some real prop guns like you talk about some good friends right that's some good friendship that's a good that's also good service good business model I'll always go back to them for my uh my doors and doors accessories my guns my guns accessories they do make stuff for doors on the side but their real prop gun is a thing of the future it is made of a new metal we found on an asteroid uh, uh, orbiting our moon and uh it was just a rare metal um we call it propium we're gonna try and see if they'll let us use a little bit of propium because maybe what what, what would you think a real fake door made out of propium would be a real fit a real prop door what is on my head right now geez something's itching i'm getting shot while i'm trying to tell people that I'm, I'm trying to procure this new resource we found it's really nice it's malleable it's morphable i think that's probably no that's not the same word but kind of close it can move it's form fitting you can wear them sometimes if you get the propium upgrade you can use them as clothes that's the first time we've ever had seen like a door actually have a like a real fake door have multi-purposes outside of doors you can wear them as pants if you get them in like the propium metal i think now that we think about it why don't we get some propium and like try to enhance our actors you know in the the door redoor we give them a little propium and uh now that now the now the better they, they ever since they came out of retirement we get rid of the rheumatoid rust and now they can actually act the way that you know what good good idea good idea we'll collaborate we'll collaborate i like it it's it was actually a fake door like it was there was no fake real there was no real fake that was just a fake door i think i really do wholeheartedly believe that was just a pure as day fake door i hate it now that's like that's like the scum of the earth kind of doors it's like the it's like the great value of doors it was just a fake door like a fake fake door actually has purpose but a fake door like I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. Broken. Come on, give me. What's a fake door? There's a word for it. Either way, either way, it don't matter. 
It don't matter. I just cannot believe they have fake doors over here. Like this is like, this is kangaroo court if I've ever seen it. Like, why would you settle for that? I mean, at least I, I, I wouldn't even blame you for buying a fake real door at this point. That's just gross. Like, it's like, what kind of person does that? It's so stupid. The fake door, at least I can unlock and make a real door, but a fake door, that's just lame. No, it, it's, it really, no, it's, I couldn't even have said it better than myself. Like, it, it literally had no use. Why would you do that to yourself? Why? Why? It's it's like you want to impede everything in your life. It's like you live for impediment. You want to put a barrier in the way all the time. It's just what, it's what it sounds like. You know what I mean? What in the hell? Oh, I'm losing more frames. Look at that. Uh-oh. 0.3% of all my frames have been lost. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, stop talking real quick. The real fake doors are on sale right now. What are you doing? Go over to the fucking merch store. Buy a real fake door, you whore. See, well, if we were in Kingdom Come Deliverance and we were trying to sell real fake doors to whores, that would kind of be blasphemous, but we got a way to work around it, you know, because we can't really sell to women back those days. All right, let's put it. Let's put our minds back in the shoes of the medieval days, right, where men were the only ones that had rights. But we couldn't sell to whores and we knew that we had a really progressive guy back in 1387, right? Uh, his name was Michelangelo Johnson. Um, it was a family name. It's been passed down to him for uh, several millennia. Um, but he, he had an idea. He's like, why do we keep selling these real fake doors to these really fat kings? These really pompous, arrogant nobility pieces of shit, right? And you know how these, these ladies that stay home, you know, have to take care of everything. The farm, the kids, the cooking, the syphilis, the freaking everything. They had to take care of everything. Why not try to market to them? Well, we couldn't. It was illegal. It was illegal to sell to them. He found out a way. He found out a way. He would act like that. He 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 found a way to like get like tunnels under every 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 house, and he would pop in from time to time and ask the ladies, "Hey, hey, I got I got some I got some stuff for you. I got some really good merchandise for you." You know, you're like when you when you're in the middle of being berated by by a drunken husband who just got done riding bareback on a house through uh you know two miles of actual horse shit um you want you want yourself a solace you know you like you wish you could hit him but you can't because you get your hands chopped off part of the time sorry about that you can you can hit the door right that's right right he he was trying to think of a name for it he was trying to think of a name for it he was usually going with like the underground doorman the, the super surprise uh, door guy but you know i think we i think the door mole would have worked he, he was still working on the names but door mole could have worked but he was specifically marketing towards you know women because they're always home they need they need they need something you know to get to get all that stress off their back living in the times knowing that they're only going to live to be about 30 so if they got 30 years maybe out of those 30 years like 15 good real fake door years we might as well sell and he really started a new movement you know he was the first to really pioneer you know progressive thoughts you know back in the the day of the year sorry the day what the hell is wrong with me Talking about the year over here, no wonder why they were he was smart and I wasn't, right? That guy was way ahead of his time. I think it was like the year 1387 is what I said. Real progressive thoughts. I think he was he was solely responsible for, for like rights movements for peasants and winches and whores. But then it spread to like the good side. And you know, you started seeing like Joan of Arc, you know how she came about. And it wasn't because she was brash, it's because she practiced her speech against a real fake door that had a mirror. All thanks to him. All thanks to his progressive thoughts. You can th you can seriously just thank real fake doors for um, giving civil liberties and and e equal measures and rules to the ladies of the uh, late 1300s, and then just expanding out from there. It was him, Michelangelo Johnson. Look him up. <clears throat> I wouldn't lie to you. Guys, guys, I'm trying, I'm trying my best here to show off this yellow journal. And you know, yellow is made out of, you, know, you ever heard of yellow lumber? Y-E-L-L-A, big thing down here in Texas. It was yellow treated lumber. This was a yellow diary. And we found out they made a handful. There was this year, this one year where they had so much lumber. They took their yellow lumber and turned it into journals. But they transported those journals back in the year tw uh, 1270. And they had like, for one full year, they had a guy plant them all around to really try to like 
spark business back in the past to see if they would do anything in the future real fake doors little did he know he should have just sent back real fake doors back to the past if he wanted to get you know be like potentially better sales break the butterfly effect kind of thing you know oh don't fuck with the past you can destroy the future it's just about real fake doors he why would he decide to take the yellow lumber and make diaries out of it don't get me wrong high quality high high quality diaries made out of yellow wood yellow oak it's yellow treated right that's why it's called yellow dial why would just let's get back to the point here why would michael his name's his name's michael right he's from he's from accounting try to try to hand it uh, an idea and uh he was like yeah but people back then loved to write they like books you make it out of real fake door material i mean you said it yourself boss you like the real fake uh feel not the fake real feel i mean wouldn't those people know what a door feels like in a real fake door they'll, they'll feel it through the fingers they'll have muscle memory right and then I don't know why I didn't just veto like his whole thought process there. I was just so excited about real fake door diaries that I just signed off on it. Like no one's business, like one, two, boom, done. Just sit, ship it off, just send it back. I mean, we had a teleporter, so it made it easy. But like back to 1270, I don't know why at that year, but uh, now I'm starting to find yellow diaries everywhere. It's, it's weird, really weird. You know, it's really odd make sure to get yourself one you can find them at all targets the diaries wise not in, not in our warehouses that's for doors you can find a real fake door yellow uh diary and all the targets across the world all the walmarts across the world and all the dollar generals across the world three big trafficked areas they're about two bucks a piece pretty not bad you know i do say so myself oh you gotta be kidding me. i'm not get a fucking diary and you'll see for my you'll see for yourself okay get a diary you'll see how good it is it holds ink very well okay it's it's an amazing ink holder right like you write on the paper it, goodness gracious golly gee gravy batman it really is that great batman i'm telling you they like, take it from me but these diaries are amazing you can even write about your dead mom and dad in there all you want batman seriously they, it'll hold that ink for at least 55 years that's a good guarantee. Watch this. Watch this. Can I grab you? No. <gasps> we found it, boys. We fucking found it. We found a real fake door in a game. It doesn't work, and it looks like a door. It's one of the peepholeless models because we put a pane of glass in it, but I did not know this is where they were going to put our real fake dude. We fucking found it. Oh hell yeah, brother! Oh, this is so this is so champ. Oh man, let's witness it in all of its glory. Yes, real fake door. Champ, champ, champ. I absolutely love this game. So I'm just I'm just putting that out there right now. I absolutely love this game. Anyways, real fake door in a fucking game. They actually bought one. Who would have thought that outside of me, this was the person that bought a real? I mean, outside of like two million people that one of those two million people bought one of these real fake doors for their like the virtual asset real fake door i that was that was just something i threw out you know just like willy-nilly you know i know people like they like games but they always like functional doors i didn't think a real fake door would actually work i really didn't think it would work but dude look here we are our real our virtual real fake door game asset is actually a thing it's actually a thing can't believe they did this they did this oh my god oh my god dude dude but like this this is this is like the start of something big you know how people were like really into nfts and trying to get something of like virtual land and whatnot and don't get me wrong if you can work the market you can make some good money but we're in we're in rfds vrfds we have vr vrfds we have a new line we have a new we've hit a new market broken we've done it we've done it you me michael stephanie greg the other greg we had, we for some reason i hired another greg you know what it's it's fine i'm g he's greg he's better fucking know his place but dude we're going places guys we're fucking going places we're going places dude we've hit the big time can you imagine we're about to soar among the fishes and swim among the pigeons can you imagine that greg greg and greg she had to pee oh she, she has to pee I'm not even mad. That was simply impressive. Real fake doors, virtual real fake doors in this game on top of having this gun. There's two things I wanted in life was this gun and our doors to be 
game assets, readily available, easy to install, easy to code, super convenient, multicolored VRFDs. I didn't think it was possible. I, I'm telling you, I just threw it out there one day, just on the off chance that maybe the virtual, the virtual market, the virtual landscape would take hold because game assets have been a thing forever, right? But I was thinking this, make, make an advertisement as a game asset. What better way to do that than a virtually made game asset as a non-working door, a real fake door? That's advertisement and usage at the same time. It's efficient, two birds with one stone. Can you imagine that? Like how ingenious that is? Why we didn't think of it sooner, you know? Why we didn't like throw it out there before the big boom of the virtual landscape started taking fold? Don't be wrong, it's good now, it's good now. We're, we're, we actually got over that little hump, so it's good, we did it. Hey, hey, stop talking real quick. The real fake doors are on sale right now. What are you doing? Go over to the fucking merch store. Buy Come a real on. fake door, you whore. I can't right now. We already found out that this game is using our virtual real fake door game assets. I'm doing cartwheels in the in the pool. My, uh, real, let's just throw it. Just get it out. I can't, I can't move. Granny can't move. Granny, Granny, Granny can't move. She's... She's tumbling. She's tumbling in the pool. Just like how our prices are tumbling down for for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. And then after Valentine's Day, they shoot up just like Granny's blood pressure. For Valentine's Day, get your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. A pink, purple, red, or black door. Nothing says I love you. Like not um, nothing, nothing says I love you like the hallmark version of, 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 a, of a real fake door. Like I, I've never been more, I've, I've never been more happy with my Valentine's seasonal real fake door. It's, it's because it is always, it's always there for me. Sitting there all pinkishly in my living room. I've never, I thank you, th thank you real fake doors. Start doing real fake door testimonials. <laughs> oh well, roll it off.